So what's the greatest part talking about today? Well, we talk about our journeys and our travels when we talk about the Grape Explorer. And what we're talking about today is Argentina. And Argentina is one of the most beautiful wine regions. If you've never ever got a chance to, to go to Argentina, I highly recommend putting it on your bucket list because it is just absolutely spectacular. And one of the best things, of course, that grow there is Malbec. And everybody knows, you know, Malbec is, you know, in a, in a very famous region here called Mendoza. But that's not the only region that's really interesting in, in Argentina. If you go all the way up to this area here, this is called Salta. And Salta is uh, Cafayette. These are the highest vineyards in the world. They are 6,000 feet above sea level. Now think about that. That is just just incredible to be growing grapes at this altitude. We we always say, you know, high altitude wines, but that's pushing the limits a little bit. But uh, this is a wine that's really, really interesting. So this is a, a, a wine from Cafayette, which is Yacachosa. And uh, what's interesting about this, this is Michel Roland's first project when he was in uh, Argentina. If you've never heard of Michel Roland, I always talk about uh, I talk about grapes, I talk about wine, but there's also wine making. And then there comes talent. And there's very, very talented people who just make incredible wines wherever they go. Michel Roland is one of them. And as you can see, his name is actually on this label. And uh, we're very close friends with Michel. I actually met him in 1990 in Bordeaux. Um, at that time, you know, he owned uh, Le Bon Pasteur. And, uh, you know, he was one of the the icons of winemaking, even back in those days. But at the same time, what they, what a lot of these gentlemen did in France, they actually invested in different places around the world. Uh, Michel uh, spent a lot of time in Argentina because he actually, if you talk to Michel Roland, uh, he just is so passionate about Argentina. He just said it's one of the best growing regions in all of the world. But this Cafayette is a very, very interesting area. Now being 6,000 feet, you get all different flavors in the, and you, of course it's mountain fruit. We talk about mountain fruit being very like briary, not too ripe because obviously the climate keeps the, the, the wines in check. But you get a lot of that mineral expression. I can just smell it. It just comes right up at you. This is actually uh, their second wine. Um, if you ever had a chance to, to go out and find this wine, this is the best value that they have from this uh, estate. Usually it's under $40 a bottle. The, the top wine is anywhere between $80 to $100 a bottle. But this just gives you that expression. You get almost like that volcanic kind of soil that you get in like Priorat or other areas of, uh, of Europe. You get, it's all smoky kind of flavors, but just beautiful flavor profile. Mmm. Real intense dry fruit. It's got, it's got a, a beautiful balance, very silky tannins. Of course, that's Michel Roland. And um, very, very interesting wines. And of course, a lot of people don't know this area because it's a very small area, Cafayette. There's not a lot of wine producers there. So you won't find them too many stores. You do find the ones that are in Mendoza because that's all we see, the most famous region. But if you ever get a chance to try what I consider to be some of the finest Malbecs in all of Argentina, it's definitely the ones from Salta from Cafayette. This is a Grape Explorer talking about wine and talking about grapes.